In this video, I will show you how to install all new Cosmic Desktop Environment on Pop! OS. Cosmic is a brand new desktop environment written in Rust for Pop! OS and other Linux distributions. It's an independent desktop just like GNOME and KDE Plasma, offering unique experience for Linux users. At the time of making this video, Cosmic Desktop is in alpha stage and is getting ready to be released in coming months. But thanks to the pre-alpha build named Cosmic Epoch, which can be installed on the current Pop! OS. As you can see, I have installed the fresh copy of Pop! OS based on Ubuntu 22.04 LTS on my computer. To install the all-new Rust-based Cosmic Desktop, now open Terminal and type this command to update the apt source list. Then type sudo apt upgrade to update the system. Once it's done, reboot your computer. Then head over to this link using Firefox web browser to learn more information about the Cosmic Desktop. Now look for this line, copy the code, and paste inside the terminal to install the Cosmic dependencies. Once it's done, type sudo nano etsy gdm3 custom.conf and press enter. Now look for the line called Valent Enable and update the Boolean value from false to true. Once done, save the changes and reboot your computer for this change to take effect. Now from the login screen, click on your user and there will be a sprocket or settings gear icon at the bottom right. Click on it and change the setting to Pop! OS Valent, then proceed to login. Now you can see we have logged into Pop! OS Valent session. Once it's done, type sudo apt install cosmic session and execute the command to install the cosmic pre alpha build. In a few seconds, you will see the screen to choose the Login Manager. Press Enter to choose the default Display Manager. It's recommended to use GDM3, but for now, I would like to use the all-new Cosmic Greeter. Now, once you choose the Login Manager, press Enter to confirm. And that's it, Cosmic Epoch has been installed successfully. Go ahead and run this command to reboot the computer. After rebooting, you will see the Cosmic Greeter. Now, this is a brand new login manager, just like a GDM or SDDM for the Cosmic Desktop. On the left, you can view the time, date, battery information, and Wi Fi connection. You can also get access to system controls, such as settings, reboot, or power off options. On the right, you can see the username with the profile picture and the password text field for login. The Login Manager provides a way of switching between the multiple desktop environments if they are installed on your system. Now let's proceed to login Cosmic Desktop by entering the password. Now this is the Cosmic Desktop home screen. It's very simple, easy to use, and offers a fresh and intuitive experience diverging from GTK and Qt frameworks. Linux users are likely to appreciate this new desktop built using the latest technologies. Now let's run the new fetch and you will see we are running the Cosmic Desktop. If you want to see an in-depth review about Cosmic Desktop, I have made a video about it. Do check the video link in the description. Now to switch between the desktops, log out from Cosmic Session. 
From here, you can choose to use Pop X11 and Pop Valent based on GNOME Desktop. Now let's log in into Pop X11 and see if it works. And voila, we're back to the legacy Cosmic Desktop. Now likewise, you can switch between the different desktop environments installed on your system using Cosmic Greeter. Now keep in mind, Cosmic Desktop is in the early stages, so don't expect it to work perfectly as intended. And that's pretty much it. This is how you can install and try the Cosmic pre-alpha build on Pop OS. Let me know what do you think about it in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching. This has been KSK Ryle. I will see you in the next one.